Hello once again dudes, this is Mill, and uh, welcome to another paint.net tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be continuing the Minecraft um, texture pack. So what we need to do now is to open in our virtual craft folder that we made. going to open the terrain PNG file and we're going to open inside the GUE, the items. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try to zoom in with our zoom function here into these things. Now you can see that there's a like a little uh, you know um, uh, you know pi there's pixels on each which is like you know one of these squares so these are pixels. Now you're gonna work with these if you're gonna make a simple Minecraft texture pack. So now um, every single thing in Minecraft uh, textures have like borders so does all the things here and if they're gray like this it's because it has biome code uh, which you don't need to know about to learn um, paint.net so I'm not gonna explain that further <coughs> if you're in Minecraft you probably know already so what we're going to do basically for the first uh, thing I'm gonna go ahead and change the um, what should we take uh, stone textures or I'm actually gonna go ahead and change the sand. No, not the sand. The stone here, okay. So, you're gonna go ahead and test it in, uh, you know, your own Minecraft game. I'm not gonna test it right now. I'm just gonna show how to do it. So, select your rectangle uh, select tool and uh, go ahead and choose pixel pixel here. Alright, so now I have a rectangle and hit control plus C. Alright, and hit control plus V. So now we have like you know we have like this little square we can move around which is a copy of um, this texture. So I'm gonna move it down to the cobblestone, and as you can see, it still keeps border, so we can see you know you know where's the next one. So now this uh, is a replacement for the cobblestone in game if you have the texture pack on. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it look a little bit weird um uh, with some uh, weird colors of course. We're gonna color, you know, there's the secondary color, we color with the <coughs> right button and the primary color is in with the left one. So go ahead and keep coloring this until it looks pretty weird and not very Minecraft-ish. Now, now, um, so here's the final result we just made. Um, it's not a very nice texture, but you're you're just learning in it. It's not, as I told you, it's not a gonna be a HD texture pack or anything like that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna use the move pixels uh, now. Select pixels. Now this means that we move this, you know, we have selected with our rectangle selecting tool, move it around all the pixels. So here it becomes nothing. You can see. I'm gonna put it on place again. Was just to show you. So I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select like mm, maybe these two, and you can see how you make like less around it, so you know it can't get uh, you know touched kinda. Uh, the lasso tool in uh, Paint.net is a little bit uh, how can I say this? Um, well, it's not so good, honestly. Um, you you'll need to figure out how to use it correctly. Um, I would prefer the one in uh, Photoshop a lot better, but you can do okay with this one. So I'm gonna try and see if I can select uh, one here. What you basically do with the lasso tool is that if you have if you have something in here, and I take my pencil and try to color outside of it, I can't do it. So that's pretty awesome actually. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, here you can see I can move the lassos with the move section. I'm, gen I'm just gonna undo all of this. Actually I'm just gonna go ahead and alright. So basically this is it for this tutorial. So in the next tutorial we're going to have about the eclipse select, the zoom, uh, it's in more detail, the magic wand and the pen. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next tutorial.